One of the issues with these chop saws is they always have poor dust collection. Many of the models, uh, like this DeWalt here, use a single pickup right here that you attach to a centralized vacuum system or a portable shop vac. They work okay, um, but still a lot could be improved there. So I'm trying to build something new, basically just laminated up uh, a couple two by sixes on top of each other and then cut it out in the bandsaw. Not very pretty on the back side because then some chisels kind of had to hog that out. But basically trying to increase the dust collection area in one of these saws by making this attachment. So I put two locating pins in on each side. Seem to work for my saw. And basically those will fit back here behind the fence where you should be able to see a couple of those holes back there. And basically drop in our soap. Lastly, I cut a top cover plate. So that'll go in over here. And then in the end, should give us some good suction in and around the blade just from the front and a little bit of area there for things to recirculate and then go through the outflow tube over here. Okay, this is a definite improvement over the stock setup. There's far less dust sitting on the saw and far less dust sitting on the ground underneath. Um, but there's still a lot. Minor saws just make a lot of dust, but it's definitely an improvement. Uh, I do see an issue where there's a decent amount of dust collecting inside the housing. Uh, I can see it maybe better on the other side here. So maybe maybe I can do something to try to re reduce that by putting a zero clearance insert and closing up these fences a little bit. We'll see if I can get some better suction going on inside the housing.
Okay, so that's after doing some similar cuts and there is a noticeable improvement. We definitely don't have as much clogging in here nor as much sitting up on top or around the saw. Um, but as we did have before, there's still a little bit sitting on the saw, the stand, and down here on the ground. One thing I noticed is that I did one of the cuts, I pulled the saw back so it wasn't all the way up against the fence and that probably created a quarter uh, of the sawdust that's on the ground down there. So um, I'll just make sure to lock it in the rear position uh, whenever I can get away with that. But anything thicker than these two by eights, then I have to unlock it. Um, I didn't mention before, but the reason for this PVC extension tube is to act as a strain relief. So the weight of the hose doesn't pull this shroud up and off. I think this is a, it's definitely a massive improvement on the dust collection from what came stock. I think it's about as good as it can be just with a single shop vac. Shop vacs are nice for high velocity, but they're not good for um, mass airflow, um, centralized dust collection mixed with a setup like this is probably the way to go. That's what I'm going to end up doing downstream. But in the meantime, having the zero clearance insert, uh, as well as the uh, zero clearance uh, fence extensions, which I'll put a link um, there with, where I got those. And then this cobbled together guard collector in the back seems to be working out real well. Okay, one additional chapter here, we'll call it a extra innings, is I wanted to show something else I put together. I'm getting ready to put in a um, central dust collection system. Um, and for all that uh, material that bypasses the collector in the front, what I put together here, uh, just from some scrap laying around the shop, is a tray that will sit behind the saw and on the bottom of that tray is one of those big gulp dust collectors uh, which I just screwed into the bottom here and that has a four inch port at the bottom so if you do the math four inch port uh, volume wise and you know adding up um, 16 holes that I drilled in here um, add up to about the same amount of uh, uh, area. So uh, volume of air flowing through there should be about the same. Um, I could have made it all open, but I, I think it's just going to decrease the, the um, air coming through there. So I want to still have some, some volume accelerating you know, through the bottom of the tray. You know, it's not going to be as good as having a, a full dust collector built around the saw, um, but I don't, I don't want that. Um, there's plenty of videos out there on how to put those together. I really enjoy working outside. I drag the saw out to the job site when I'm working on large outdoor projects. So um, I just wanted something that'll just somewhat collect things at the back of the saw when it's here in the shop. In fact, without even the dust collector working, um, this should uh, clean up the floor uh, back here uh, over time. And, um, you know, and then I can just kind of vacuum it out in the meantime. But then once I get the central dust collector in there, it should be all good to go. So I haven't seen anything put together like this. Again, there's not much to it. Um, I just made it go back as far as... Uh, um, you know, the saw goes back and made sure it had enough clearance and for accommodating the swing and um, basically used a piece of Formica, drilled some holes in it, and then mounted the big gulp to it on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then screwed it into the saw. Okay, well, hopefully this has been helpful to you. You know, I've been out there looking at uh, new DeWalt's and um, some of the other brands that are out there. Everybody's a little bit different in how they do dust collection. Uh, some are a little better than others, but everybody seems to have the same kind of common problems. So uh, maybe you can rig up something similar to what I've done here um, with this guy in the front or the other solution here in the back. We're both kind of together. 
All right, thanks. Take care.